hello students welcome to english class today i am here with one of the chapter from your honey dew textbook the name of the chapter is this is jody's farm first let's talk about the characters of the story jody ezra baxter or also known as penny ora baxter she is wife of ezra baxter dr wilson and melville let's be in the flow of the story jody's father penny was bitten by a rattlesnake he quickly killed a doe then he used the doe's heart and liver to draw out the poison jody saw that the doe's baby a little fawn was left alone the thought of fawn kept on haunting jody's mind he quietly went to his father's bedside he asked him how he was feeling then he asked him to think about the fawn he asked him to bring the fawn home jody wanted to raise him at first penny was in a dilemma jody argued that raising the fawn would not be a burden fawn could drink jody's milk until he started eating leaves and acorns jody also said that his family was responsible for the fawn's plight penny agrees that it would be ungrateful to leave the fawn to starve so he gave jody his permission he asked him to tell his mother about it before going to bring the fawn in jody came to the table and sat down very quietly the mother was pouring coffee in the cups she was taken aback when jody talked of bringing the fawn home seeing the mother reluctant jody told what his father has said He said that Penny has said it would be ungrateful to leave the fawn to starve. Before the mother could say anything, Doctor Wilson spoke. He told Jody's mother that nothing is the world come quite free. He meant that they pay some price for having taken the life of Doe. Here the price was to raise the fawn. Melville chipped in. He offered to take Jody on his horse to the forest. the mother felt helpless she only told jody that he could give the fawn his milk she would not give him anything else to feed the fawn melville mounted his horse he set jody behind him on the horse jody assured his mother ma baxter that he would be back before dinner now melville asked jody how he knew that the fawn was male jody said that the spots on the fawn were all in a line This indicated the fawn was a male. Once in the forest, Jody wanted Melville to go back. He wanted to be alone with the fawn. There were two reasons. First, it was possible that Jody might not get the fawn, for the fawn might have died or to be not found. In that case, he would not like Melville to see his disappointment. Secondly, if he meet the fawn, the meeting would be very lovely and secret. he would not like to share it with anyone else so jody asked melville to go he said that the scrub was too thick for the horse to get through melville was however afraid to leave jody alone he said that jody could be lost in the forest or bitten by the snake jody however said melville didn't have to worry he would be careful so melville went back after a while jody came to the carcass of the doe the fawn was not found nearby he tried to look for the small hoof prints but in vain then there was some movement directly in front of him jody was overjoyed to see his fawn it was shaky but it didn't try to raise or run jody laid his head hand on the fawn's soft neck he was very happy to feel it jody lifted the fawn from the grass very softly He feared that the sight of its mother's carcass might agitate the fawn, so he avoided the clearing and went through the bushes. It was a difficult walk. He was carrying the fawn in his arms. It was a long walk. He reached the trail. Then he came to the road that could take him home. Now he stopped to rest. He put the fawn down. It bleated and looked at Jody. Jody was charmed. I'll carry you after I get my breath," he said. 
His father had told him that a fawn would follow if it had first been carried. So he started slowly. The fawn didn't move. So he came back to pick him. At the gate, Jody had an idea. He would walk into his father's room with the fawn after him. But at the steps, the fawn would not come up. So Jody reached his father's bed with the fawn on him. Jody showed his father the fawn. The father was glad that Jody had found what he wanted. Jody offered the milk to the fawn. The milk was in the gourd. The fawn could not drink it. Then Jody dipped his fingers in the milk and thrust them into the fawn's soft mouth. The fawn drank the milk greedily. Then he lowered his fingers into the gourd. The fawn drank from the gourd now. So this is the summary of this story. In this we have found that it is a story about a small boy Jody who saved and looked after the orphaned fawn. So, if you have any query related to this chapter, feel free to ask. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe.